Hey guys, welcome back to Food to Eat by Request. I'm Bev Valen. Hey, it's great to have you here today. We're doing an amazing recipe and this recipe goes out as requested by Mr. Michael Attar. Now, for those of you who have watched a lot of my Food to Eat channel, you will know that by the end of 2014 we were asked to uh, make a TV pilot that went over to MIPCOM in France. Now, you can click down there on the link there and you'll see the actual full, full TV pilot. It was really, really awesome to film. Now, we got to film at my mate Michael's farm. He had some amazing land. Now, at the time, they were very young. So today, I'm doing Michael a very special Attard spring lamb with some lovely seasonal vegetables straight from my garden. So, let's jump straight in. This is a lovely leg, which has come straight from Michael's uh, spring lamb. Now, spring lamb and lamb. You might be saying, well, what's the difference? Well, it's really quite simple. Spring lamb is actually a proper lamb, it's a young sheep. Now, here in Australia, we often will have lamb or sheep referred to as lamb in a butcher. Now, what that actually means is that's lamb. Now, that could be anywhere from six months old to 18 years old, who knows? Spring lamb, however, which is what the meat we're about to cook with is, spring lamb, however, is really unique because it is actually young lamb. You can see here, it's really pink. It's got a real nice bit of fleshiness to it. And it's going to be really sweet. Now I know for a fact that this lamb has been treated really well by Michael. He farms this himself. The most beautiful sheep growing area you could imagine over in Riddles Creek. So I know this lamb is going to be fantastic and I'm sure Michael's going to love this recipe. Alright, I want to keep it really simple. Let's honour how good this lamb is, how what a wonderful creature it was and how well it's been farmed and looked after. Alright, lamb. It's still on the bone and that's going to give it more juiciness. All I want to do is a little bit of olive oil on top of like that. I want to get this fresh rosemary and I just want to sprinkle it on top. Now I could put it in the flesh, but I don't want that to happen. I just want it on top so it gets a little bit of flavor into the meat. Salt. Pepper. Now this beautiful piece of meat is gonna go into an oven at 140 degrees and I'm gonna leave it in there for the minimum, the very, very bare minimum of three hours. So, it's gonna be really slow cooked and it's gonna be beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go off now, I'm gonna pick some veggies and get it ready for dinner time. Dinner time. Ooh. Dinner time. All right, so let's get it in the oven. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. So I've popped out on this lovely winter's day. Grab a couple of my beautiful eggplants. One, look at him. Beautiful eggplant we're gonna roast off with our lamb. So we're gonna take two of those. Look at that, there's a nice capsicum there. One. What do you reckon that one, Larry? Hang on, take a look. So, thanks mate, there's another capsicum. And last but not least, I wanna grab a couple of these bullhorn peppers. And they're gonna be really sweet. Grab one more, yellow one. I think that'll be enough. Ah, oh, that one as well. Why not? So there we go. Some nice vegetables for our slow cooked, uh, slow cooked spring lamb. Yum. We're going to roast them up. So there is our amazing roast vegetables, all ready to go for the oven. Now, I want to show you over here. I've got some beef stock over here, which I'm reducing down, which is going to be a gravy. So our lamb has been in the oven for about four hours. Now, I'm going to open it up and show you. Ready? Here we go. Oh yeah. Let's get in there and have a good look. And that is all nice. You can see down here, it's really soft ready to come out. Let's get these vegetables into the oven. Okay. 
that, close the door. Now we want to cook those 200 degrees for about half an hour so they're crispy and tasty and yummy all on the outside. Now, we're going to get back to this lamb. We want to really wrap it in some nice foil to keep the moisture in and that's going to soften up over the next half an hour while their veggies are ready to cook. Right. Here's our nice big piece of foil. Here's our lamb. Let's get him right across here. Okay, beautiful. And we'll see this leg bone here, which is quite loose. We'll be able to pull him off and we'll just sit him in next to there so it gets juicy. Okay. Wrap it up into a nice tartle. And there you have it, it's wrapped up. We're gonna leave him sit there for a good half an hour. Our gravy, look at our gravy here. You can see it's reduced right back down to that line there. And it's really, if we do that, look at that. She's thickened on the back of my spoon. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let's have a look at our meat. And you can see in there, you can see it's kind of moist again in there. So we're gonna rip that off the bone in a minute, but now we're gonna open up the veggies. Here we go. Oh. Look at that, some nice roast veggies in there. Did you fog up again? I think you did. Nice veggies, you can see in here, there's our little eggplants that have gone really nice and crispy in there. We've got our onions, it's all really nice. Let's get serving. Come off the bone, look at that. That is beautifully cooked slow lamb. I'm gonna try that bit. Oh my God, oh my God. Let's serve this before I eat it all. Our lovely veggies. Let's put a little bit in the center of the plate. Our nice eggplants there, our capsicums, all our yummies. A nice piece of lamb on top. Look at that, nice reduced jus in there. Put a little bit on top, go. Yeah, that looks great. We'll get a little bit of these lovely herbs here. Now that's a bit of oregano and a little bit of Italian basil. Let's just sprinkle it around. And it's just to give it a little bit of zing. Here we go. Make it look a little bit spunky. And there we go, Mr. Michael Attard has requested a slow roasted Attard lamb from Riddles Creek with beautiful veggies from the garden. And that is one of the best meals you will ever find. So ladies and gents, if you like this video, please share it. And also if you really like it, jump onto our YouTube channel here and push subscribe. In the meantime, Enjoy this brilliant slow roasted Michael Adard lamb.